So here we are, top of Armscliff Crag. Part two. Come here, little one. Come on. Come up if you want to. It's not that scary. Oh, Ben. Ben. Oh, dear. He's looking all sorry for himself. Can you see him? Yeah. Oh, he's making me feel very guilty, especially because he's slinking off. Don't be silly. Come up. I don't think he wants to come out, does he? <laughs> oh well, I'm going to uh, show you the top of these rocks. They're actually quite interesting. Well, they look to be from what I've seen so far. There's lots of people about, though. So I'm being very brave. And there's lots of these little uh, circle other things, which the rocks have got over. Um, on Shipley Glen. Oh, I can see a little Ben slinking about nearby. That's quite interesting as well, isn't it? So be careful, little one. Oh, he's making me feel so guilty. I'm going to be quick. Maybe it'll have to just be a quick perusal about. And if anyone's more interested, you can always pause and see in more detail what I'll probably be whizzing, whizzing by. This is why really I should come to some places about him because get off me flies because uh, he doesn't really like these rocks does he? Which is interesting because you know he's quite brave he likes most places. There's another one of those you see where there's like a circular pool thing there there's one at the top of there as well. Little Ben! And then these little miniature ones here. So, oh, you're making me feel very guilty. Let's have a look at um, what they say. Oh, yeah. You see, I told you you could come up, didn't I? Oh, you see, he came up and then he went running back down. Oh, yeah, little Ben. Come here. Come here. Don't be silly. No, he says, I'm not having any of it. Well, oh, I don't know. Silly dog. I'll leave him to play his... Cat and mouse game. Whilst we film this. Just names really, isn't it? It's always interesting to see what names have been around for so long. In the area and whatnot. Actually struggling to see because of the light on the screen. And it's easier to read it from the screen. Except I can't see the screen. <laughs> Little Ben! monkey. Right, I'll ignore him for a moment. How hard as that is to do. So I've got the rock climbers next to me. Um, there's loads of these rock pools there. Little Ben, I can see you. He is, isn't he? He's playing cat and mouse. That water looks so round. It's quite close to me. Yeah, yeah. So you want the, the one that the, the black marlow's tied into. Yeah, we're definitely quite high up. Right, let's go back over here. I really like filming when there's so many people about. Little Ben, you gonna come up? Loads of like quite recent carvings. 
been quite well done, whereas over on Ilkley Moor it's not really like that. Because usually the more recent ones are just rubbish. I feel so bad about poor little Ben crying. But anyway, what can I do? He can come up, he just doesn't like it. So many bugs up here, it's disgusting. Not really any symbols, just lots of people's names. Little Ben, come here. <laughs> he says, nope. I'm off. Yeah, that's a recent one, isn't it? Even though they're a little bit similar to the cow and cow frogs, they look so different in their uh, way that they're formed. It's got a secret follower. <laughs> Go and look at this circle here. Ben, Ben, <whistles> oi, oi, come back. Never going to get back over there, surely. Oh, you little monkey. Ben, oh, you'll probably run around the outside now. Hey, I don't know. Anyway, we'd had actually done filming that side. <laughs> Couldn't be, wait, could he any longer? So down we go. I suppose this is quite good for me, really, because I've no choice but to uh, keep filming because there's too many people about to keep stopping. So maybe it's getting me over my. Uh, <laughs> Intense dislike of filming when there's people about. I suppose I better go and see where he is, the little rascal. Ben! I really hope that he hasn't just gone over a wall, which you can't get back round. Go and follow him. He might have just effectively managed to stop me from filming the other side by doing that little manoeuvre. Oh yeah, cheeky little thing. We hadn't really finished. Oh, you're making me feel so bad. You win. No more city rocks today. We'll have to do the other side next time. That's quite some uh, wall he's held himself over there. <laughs> Great little dog. You're a cheeky little monkey, aren't you? You don't trust me now. <laughs> I'm going to 
force them to go back up the scary rocks. So I suppose we'll just be looking underneath these ones then. Never mind. Don't need to go on top of them anyway. Let's do it all at once, do we? Little Benjamin, you cheeky little monkey, aren't you? Anyway, that's the side which we were just looking around before. All the climbers on. Don't know any history about these uh, this area, and don't know any at all. I'll have to have a look when we get back. Whilst it's uploading. Harrogate is um, a bit closer towards York than Ilkley. Little Benjamin, you are a cheeky little monkey today, aren't you? Definitely doesn't like these rocks very much, does he? I almost think he'd rather go back to the car than be by these rocks, which is uh, quite extreme, isn't it? Come on, we're going to go and have a look at these ones down here. Never actually been to this part of Armscliff Crab before. Little Ben! Oh, good boy. I wish my knee wasn't hurting so much. Right, let's go and have a look. Ben! Don't go down there because you're lonely yet. <laughs> Not come back up. So, let's see what we can see. It's quite steep, actually. Ben's going to be disgusted with me if I go up here, but... I've got to, I can't knock, can I? Look at that. That really is quite a steep. Uh, very straight. You wouldn't want to take an extra step, would you? You'd be a goner. They are kind of cool, though, aren't they? Another one of those little pooly things. Definitely not got the right shoes on for this. It would have been better just taking these off and going barefoot. Oh, look, there's some uh, interesting corrosion y type things here. Look at that. But it always looks like, it looks to me like, as though different channels which all run together into one main one there. See? Hmm. This is the highest point of this section of rock as well. I don't know what to think. Really. So I'll just film and let other people do thinking for once. Ben's a little bit happier anyway now. See, it's actually huge up there, but film the whole thing from here. Anyway, I think we'll uh, go down. Let's see whose name's here. 1979. An arm. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely 79. 
Hmm. Well, are you on to Ben? What are you doing? Well, I don't really know. I suppose we can go around the side of these and we can film the, from the bottom side. And then that'll be our filming time up. We're not doing more than two segments. Come on, we're going this way, little one. Good boy. So, I don't really know what to think or feel about this place because on one hand it's been really good to finally get it filmed and there's clearly like tons to come back and explore. It's just, it just feels a bit anticlimactic to come all the way here and there's to be so many people here which I really wasn't expecting otherwise I wouldn't have come today. So I feel like it's been a bit of a subdued filming. It was the magic mushroom hunters. <laughs> they really were looking for magic mushrooms. I was eavesdropping. Um, and then lots of climbers. And then just a couple of girls having their lunch. And then the family that was leaving. Look at these rocks. They're just like plonked, aren't they? Like, and there's that one there in the field. I'll zoom into it. Just like plonked there. I mean, seriously, why is that there? <laughs> Little Ben! Good boy. You're a good boy. Oh! Gosh, that was lucky. I dropped it. And my thumb nearly went onto the off button. Wouldn't it be amazing if we managed to get two whole segments done with no interruptions from any people? Or no silly manoeuvres from any Ninas. It would just be great. It really would be. I wonder if you can see all these flies. It's possible you can't, but I wish you could, because they are just... Well, you don't really want to be able to see them, actually. It's just not very nice to be walking through the whole time. And here's another one that just looks like it's just being plonked down there. I mean... Doesn't even really seem to make much sense gravity wise because it's bigger at the top than it is at the base. It's like someone's huge giant tooth fell out and landed in the ground. Uh, yeah, and this is the one we were just on the top of. I look at this circle in the side, you see, obviously, this doesn't make much sense to the mind of my poor, my poor little pea sized brain because how do things like this form? And where does it lead to? I can't even see up it and I can't get high enough to see. Does it go down? Or does it just end? I don't know. You can't see from here. Hopefully it's picking up so we can see from the camera. Look, there's another little one here, a baby one. <laughs> there's lots of them actually. Oh yeah, little Ben, you're getting all adventurous. And look at this one, what it's just landed on. It's just being propped up there on a few little tiny rocks. I'd love to have seen this when it was all originally whatever it once was. Because I think this always wants something. And these are the ruins that we're looking at now. That's the only thing that makes sense in my little pea-sized brain. These are the ruins of a world that was here before. Isn't that right, Ben? And because, like, all of these um, bloodlines and whatnot, like, to do the rituals and stuff, places like this have got a really huge historical value for them. Except people like normal people like, you know, I don't know. Just, oh, little Ben, I didn't touch you. He thought I was going to tread on him. We don't need to know the real history behind these things. So we don't get told it, do we? No, we don't. Should we go and find you a nice drink? We've got water in the car, haven't we? And then should we take you on a special walk, which you'll enjoy on the way home? I think we can do that, can't we? 
Go on then, let's get striding. Good boy. Well, I would like to thank you for coming to uh, visit Arms Cliff Crab with us. Um, I'm sorry it feels a little bit anticlimactic. It may be to watch, maybe it doesn't. Now, I've just clocked something a little bit interesting there as well. You see those channels going down there? That's the other side of the rock, which, when I was stood right at the top, you can actually see up there. That's where the channels were going down, which all ran into one. And then as you're coming down from there, you've got this here. So whilst it might not make much sense as they're standing right now, maybe at one point in time it made a little bit more sense than it seemed to at the moment. Who knows? We need to uh, step back in time a few uh, million years, maybe. <laughs> to find out what was here and how they all lay originally. And what on earth was going on? Are these rocks of the Nephilim? Are these ruins left behind? Do these places get used for rituals right through to this day? This day and age? I don't know. Does anybody know? Would anyone watch this and think, Armscliff Crag, I've got memories about Armscliff Crag. That would be amazing, wouldn't it, if that was the case. Or Ilkley Moor, or any of these places. If so, do share. <laughs> I don't know if I've actually said this on camera, but when I was a kid, and I was riding across the moors, and it was um, around Midsummer Eve's time, I did actually bump into uh, some cloaked people having a ceremony. Oh, I'm sure I've said this before on camera having some kind of ritual ceremony type thing. Actually, um, there is something. I was riding, so I, I didn't hang around. There is something. There's loads of places in Ilkley we need to fill, and there's a monastery there. And um, I think we might go and do the Twelve Apostles. We'll make that a, t a task for tomorrow, because I have to go to the dentist anyway tomorrow in Ilkley. My crown fell out the other day. So I think that we'll go and do the Twelve Apostles Oh, not the Twelve Apostles, I'm saying it wrong. Um, it's called the Cal... Oh, what's it called? The Carvery or something like that. And it's by where the monastery is. And it's um, basically when Catholicism had been banned. Um, it's like a secret place where they go to worship Jesus and pray and stuff. So I think we'll uh, go and film that tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds like a very good idea, since I'll be definitely in the area as well. So, anyway, we're almost up on filming time. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So, this was Armscliff Crag, over and out. <laughs> oh, dear me. Almost, we've got one minute left. So... It's all shy then because there was two men sat behind me on a rock. <laughs> anyway, if you want to comment or say anything or got any thoughts or want to share or anything, then feel free to write away. And um, thank you for watching. Bye bye from me. And little Ben wants to say bye too. Ben, come here. Come here. Good boy. Come here. Oh, there, here he is. Oh, well, that was a little bit uh, OTT. He was trying to say bye and thanks for watching. And that he's sorry for uh, being a little bit scared on top of the rocks, but he doesn't like the uh, demonic attachments which go on up there. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. <laughs> So, we're going to get cut off about now, I'd say. Good boy. Pop you down in a minute. You can finish a bit of walk yourself, can't you? Sit down.
cutie little cutie. Mwah.